Hello, my name is Ben and I document my own print-on-demand journey on this YouTube channel. Um, today I'd like to talk about um, Amazon KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. Um, it is very similar to um, the whole print-of-demand thing, uh, but many people see it sort of as a separate um, income stream, a separate business, even though I think it's, it's really related, it's very similar. Um, you can even use your same, the same designs that you generate um, for your print-on-demand business for um, an Amazon KDP. So um, what it is, it's basically um, whatever you, you know, you can take your designs that you would normally put on t-shirts or mugs or, you know, bottles or anything and you can um, register with Amazon uh, KDP and um, then you can upload your designs onto KDP. Um, and they will be printed on books. So, um, I mean, you know, it, it's not like that you have to write a book or something. Um, what you do is you would publish a, it's called a no content or a low content book. Um, and essentially it is just, um, you put your design on the book cover um, and then inside you just have, you know, something like a notebook, you know, it could, or it just, it could, it could be a coloring book. Um, you can put inside what you want, but it could be just something like that, as simple as that. Just, just some lines to take notes or something, maybe 120 pages, 160 pages. Um, and I have, well, I've registered with KDP as well um, a few weeks ago and I've uploaded um, using an automation tool um, because, again, you know, it, it takes a bit of time to upload on KDP and I want to scale this business, so I would like to upload as many as I can. And I've already have, you know, hundreds, hundreds of designs um, from my print-on-demand business and I don't, you know, want to manually upload them all on KDP, so I'm using an upload tool to automate the process as good as possible. And, um, you know, I've uploaded already over, uh, I think, 200 designs. The thing with, with KDP is you can only upload you know, so many to a certain point and then they all need to be checked and verified by Amazon and only when they've approved them, then you can upload the next batch. Um, so you don't really have a daily upload limit, but I think it all, de well, I think you don't have, um, unless it, well, if there is one, it is very high, but you know, the limit will be the, um, you know, how, how quickly Amazon can actually approve them because you can only have, as I said, I think about, about 100 or 150, um, upload it but then obviously they need to be before they can be released by amazon they need to be checked so um yeah so i have to and, and that takes at the moment i think it takes a week a bit more than a week to be um for them to be approved and checked so um yeah that slows me down a little bit i haven't made a single sale yet but i've really only just started and um you know the first batch really only has been approved uh, however i use an upload tool which is um flying upload kdp it's separate from their print-on-demand upload tool, even though you know they work very, very similar. Um, but it's a separate subscription. Um, but I have subscribed because I think it's worth it. It's very convenient to use, um, and I recommend it on this channel. I'm not an affiliate, but I recommend it because um, you know I'm convinced it, it is really a good tool. And I, you know, I couldn't have done all of that um, sort of in my own time if I had done it, you know, just manually, because um, it takes a lot of time. So it really, it really saves a lot of time. And I think the um, I would check, I, I need to check um, what the subscription costs are, but um, it's, not, it's, it's lower than the print-on-demand tool. And, you know, I think my, my view is if I save, you know, two or three hours by uploading um, through the automation tool, I mean, it's paid for itself because, you know, I, I couldn't do it myself. And if I had to pay someone, you know, the, the tool pays for itself, really. So um, what I want to show you, I want to show you the tool quickly and I'll jump on my laptop and see you in a few seconds. Thank you. Bye. Hi, so here I am on the laptop. Um, just very quickly, this is the Flying Upload website. On here, you can also download their KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing upload tool. Um, they offer a free version, which gives you 30 uploads per month for, well, it says all the platforms, but really it's only for KDP. Um, so free version, you can download it here, you can test it. If you want to subscribe, it costs 19.95 per month, which is in euros. Um, but it gives you unlimited uploads. It also has a trademark checker. Um, it translate or translates automatically. Template manager, a color book generator, which I haven't used yet. Um, a bulk copy duplicate function, so various other things. But really, it just makes it very convenient just to, to upload. So you can check it out. I put the link into the description. It's not an affiliate link, so feel free to use it. Um, now, this is the upload tool. 
Um, what you do when you start, you just drag and drop your design in here into this software. Um, now this is not my design, I just use it here for uh, example purposes. Up here you see this little um, KDP logo and this is highlighted when you have successfully uploaded this design onto KDP. So this makes it very convenient because then you always know which design has already been uploaded and you don't need to have a separate list for that or anything. So what I do when I've uploaded whatever, 100 or 200 designs, um, I don't move them out of the folder. So when I'm not sure if it's been uploaded or not, I can just drag and drop it back into the software and then it will show me and it will only upload the designs which have not been uploaded yet unless I want it to upload it twice but I have to confirm that separately. Now, what you do here, you put a title in, you say what it is, like a line notebook journal, to-do exercise book, and whatever. Um, a description, you give it a description, and you can use HTML to um, yeah, format it. Then you put the keywords in here, relevant keywords, and this tool even offers you a keyword generator. Um, I think it's linked to some search engines, so it gives you the most relevant keywords. It also has a trademark checker, which checks your trade, you know, if, if there's anything that you put in here is trademarked. Categories, and this is very convenient. These are the categories from KDP. And um, you don't have to, you know, if you have done the upload manually, it takes a lot of time. But here you just search for whatever you need, like this is surfing, and it comes up with the, um, you just click on the category from KDP, and it just, you know, sort of puts it in here which is great. Um, what you have to do here, a cover color, so I leave it black in, in this case, and a text color, which is the color, and I show you the example. It shows you an example as well, so you click on it, and then it will open um, a PDF, which shows you the like how it looks. So this is an example how it will look. So this is just like the, um, the, the color and the title, which will be put on the um, so this side of the book, um, if you're not happy with the color choice and you can obviously change it, but it's great to have this example option and you can change the text color to something more red, you know, which suits maybe this color and you can see it just changes it here. Um, and then what you have to do, you have to include a manuscript. So because you, it's not an empty book, you want it to make it something like a, a notebook journal or something with lines. So you have to download a template from other websites separately, but there are tons of websites which offer that. Um, and you can just upload it into this software and link it to this design. It's very convenient. Um, and you can say you want green paper, white paper, interior type, um, bleed setting, cover finish, and, and that's it. And then you can just go to save. And then you go out of this and go into upload and there it is and then you just click start and then it will start the upload process and it will confirm when it's finished so it's very convenient um, I just really like this software um, it works nearly the same way as their POD software but they are two separate um, types of software I recommend you check it out and um, hopefully the video was useful to you and if you liked it please uh, give me a click on the like button and Subscribe to the channel if you um, want to continue to follow me on my print-on-demand journey. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye.